and welcome. My name is Lexi Jong and here I like to talk about luxury makeup. Today we are going to be just doing a swatch video for the Guerlain Kiss Kiss Shine Bloom Lipsticks. So I already have a full review of these up. I also have a video comparing these and other recently released lipsticks like the Chanel Rouge Coco Blooms and some, I forget, the, the Gucci, whatever they're called, La Rouge Beauté or something. Anyway, um, I do have videos on those, so we're not gonna go over all the details today. We are going to just look at swatches because I really like this formula. So this formula is very comfortable. It's got, you know, kind of like an emollient feeling on your lips, but it's not heavy. There is a fragrance to it. Now, personally, the fragrance does not bother me. Uh, Guerlain lipstick fragrances, you know, it, it's similar. So it doesn't really bother me. It's a citrus floral scent. And yeah, I personally love the packaging. And I love the way these feel and perform on my lips. And I find that using these on a regular basis does actually have hydrating benefits to my lips. Nothing like huge or anything, but there's a little bit of improvement. So this is the packaging. So we've got the three block style and it's gold packaging. You've got the information down on the bottom and this is 3.2 grams. It's made in France. And again, we've got the Guerlain logo at the top. And this one here is shade number 258, My Kiss Glow. So this one is different because this is actually one of those ones that I mean, it's like a pH activated in a way. I'm not sure if it's exactly using pH or something else, but it does take a minute to warm up and get to full vibrancy. So this shade, number 258, is different than the rest of the line because this is actually their like lip balm version and lip primer. So you can use this for a soft petal pink look on your lips. You can also use this underneath any of the other shades and that will actually intensify the shades. So they'll just be a little bit more vibrant, a little bit rosier as well. And yeah, so you can also just use it as a tinted lip balm. So you can see it deepening on my skin. So I'm just gonna fast forward a minute or two so you can see what it looks like after it is done. So this is the final color for me for 258 My Kiss Glow. And after we do the arm swatches, I will have lip swatches of all of these shades. Moving on, we have number 109, Lily Caress. And this is a nude shade. And you can see that there's a little bit of a rosy peachy tone to it. So it's rose, peach, brown, kind of all mixed together. More brown than rose and peach. And then we have 119, Floral Nude. And you can see that Floral Nude is going to be similar to Lily Caress, but it has more rose in it. So you can see it's actually more of a pinky nude. Next up, 129 Blossom Kiss. And this is going to be a warm tea rose shade. 229 Petal Blush. You can see that this is going to be a cooler, a little bit more plummy version of the one we just looked at here. So you can see that they are going to be similar in depth. Blossom Kiss is warmer in tone. And then this one, Petal Blush, is a little bit cooler in tone. This is 309 Fresh Coral. You can see that this is going to be more of a watermelon type coral shade. So it's a coral, you can definitely have the peach in there, but the pink tones in it are a bit more of that like watered down warm pink kind of watermelon shade. Then we have 521 Kiss to Say. And this is gonna be a deep shade. So this is red with plum tones in it. So it's like a cool version of a brick red. 775 Poppy Kiss. This one is beautiful and the advertisements for these lipsticks, the model wears this shade. So again, this is Poppy Kiss and you can see that it's gonna be a cooler tone. 
pink red. So it's, it's not all the way red, it's not all the way pink. So it's really kind of that hybrid shade. And last up we have 819 Corolla Rouge. And this is gonna be a deep shade. You can see that in comparison to Kiss to Say, Kiss to Say has a little bit more plum in it. This one has a little bit more pink in it. So uh, they're both very, they're similar, okay? But they're about the same depth, but we've got more red in Corolla Rouge and more plum in Kiss to Say. Here are all of them. So from the top, we have 258, My Kiss Glow, 109, Lily Caress, 119, Floral Nude, 129, Blossom Kiss, 229, Petal Blush, 309, Fresh Coral, 521, Kiss to Say, 775, Poppy Kiss, and 819, Corolla Rouge.
I hope that was helpful. So on my lips, I have a mix of 229 Petal Blush, which is this one right here. And I also have that mixed with number 119 Floral Nude, which is this one. And that is this one here, the third from the top. So one of the things I really like about these lipsticks, again, I mentioned that they are hydrating. They have more of like that lip balm kind of texture to them, yet they can be very pigmented. As you saw with the lighter shades, you can get something that is going to provide plenty of color, but it's light enough and has enough of that balm-like texture that you don't really have to use a mirror to apply it. It's easy to apply and you know you also don't have to use a lip liner with these they they're not oily they're balmy so it doesn't migrate as much as some other formulas may and then yet when you go into the deeper shades the more pigmented ones like for example corolla rouge that was the last one that i tried on you can see how deeply pigmented they are and they have that really nice shine with them now, just something to note, these are not meant to be a super long wearing lipstick, like for example, the Chanel Rouge Cocoa Blooms. These are, you know, they, they have an average wear time for a lipstick. So I wouldn't say that they're any better or worse than the average lipstick in regards to wear time. Comfort wise, I think they are fantastic. Again, if you're not interested in, you know, a fragrance lipstick, this is not gonna be for you. There is a fragrance. For me, it's not overwhelming to me. If you like other Guerlain lipsticks, I think you wouldn't have an issue with this one either. And uh, that sums up everything. So personally, I love these lipsticks. As you can see, I have collected quite a few of them now because I just really enjoy this formula and it's something easy and comfortable to wear. And so I wear one of these almost every day. So, and just one more time going through all of the shades. We have number 258, My Kiss Glow. 109, Lily Caress, 119, Floral Nude, 129, Blossom Kiss, 229, Petal Blush, 309, Fresh Coral, 521, Kiss to Say, 775, Poppy Kiss, and 819, Corolla Rouge. And one of the things I'd like to know about the color range that they have in this line is, you know, particularly when you're looking at certain lipstick brands like the Chanel lipstick brands, they tend to pretty much run very warm in the Rouge Coco Bloom. These actually run cooler. So they've got some cool tones, they've got some warm tones. Overall, they're more neutral and there are more cooler shades in here as well. So I just find them for my complexion to have more shades that are a little bit easier to pull off, if that makes sense. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful. And if you enjoyed this, please be sure to give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day and stay safe and healthy.